Hey, it's Angela with Food Storage and Survival.com, and today we're going to be preserving beans with an 18th century salting method. Um, one of, uh, okay, we've come a long way in preserving foods. This is not a common method of preserving beans anymore. There's better ways to do it, but um, one of our hobbies as a family is to participate in a colonial reenactment over the 4th of July weekend every year. Well, over the 4th of July. It doesn't always fall on the weekend. But, um, and we all dress up in colonial clothes and it's an educational event held in Orem, Utah at the uh, Sarah Park and it's put on by the Colonial Heritage Foundation of Utah. And a fantastic event, educational. Did I say educational? So lots of displays and people willing to talk to you about ways that uh, life was, the way that life was in the 18th century. So my part this year, I get to do a display and talk about food preservation in the, in the 18th century. And so I've got to get some display stuff ready and one of those is going to be salted green beans. All right, in order to preserve your beans with salt in this 18th century uh, preservation method, you're going to need salt, of course you want canning and pickling salt. So I have here the Morton brand, which you can find in your, in your baking aisle with regular salt. Uh, you want the canning and pickling, you don't want the iodized. This doesn't have iodine in it and it also doesn't, it has no anti-caking agents. So it's just plain salt. Or uh, I also have the Ball brand, and this was in the canning section and was a little more expensive than the Morton brand. So if you can find that Morton brand, you're gonna get it for a little less. Ball brand is in a in a nice you know zip top pouch. Uh, actually picked it up because the first store I went to didn't have the Morton, and I knew I needed salt, so I got uh, I got a couple of those. All right, next thing you're gonna need is some green beans. You want them fresh. These are fresh green beans, and then. You want a container, a glass container is best for it. And I'm using a canning jar right now. I will transfer this into a proper 18th century crock, but the one that I ordered has not arrived yet. And I really do need to get started on these beans so that they have time to, to look right before the event in July. All right, this is a really pretty simple technique. Sometimes uh, salting is done with a salt brine and sometimes it's done with dry salt and this one is just dry salt so we're going to put in a layer of salt and then a layer of green beans into our jar put a few more beans in there all right layer of salt just keep putting in salt and green beans until you've filled up your container this does use a lot of salt and it makes very salty green beans in the end. All right, we got all our green beans in the jar layered with salt. And the idea with this is that bacteria can't grow in this high salt environment. So it doesn't get sealed off with an airtight seal. You do want some airflow on this. So I'm going to put a lid on it, but it's going to be a loose lid. And then I'm going to store it in a cool, dry place in my basement and uh, see how it goes and we'll check on it in a month or so and I'll show you how the beans turned out.